Unlike lift-on-liftoff, abbreviated as LOLO, ships that use cranes to load and unload cargo, RORO ships allow cargo to be driven directly onto and off the vessel by crew members or using platform vehicles like self-propelled modular transporters. Initially, wheeled vehicles transported as cargo on ships were treated like any other freight. Fuel tanks were emptied, batteries were removed, and vehicles were lifted into the ship's hold and secured. This process was cumbersome, and vehicles often suffered damage, becoming unusable upon arrival. To address this issue, Roro ships were first introduced in 1833 to carry carriages for the Monkland and Kirkintilloch Railway. In 1849, the modern train ferry Leviathan was launched because bridge technology couldn't span the five-mile-wide Firth of Forth, an alternative was needed. A civil engineer named Thomas Bausch proposed using a ferry train with a roll-on, roll-off mechanism to enhance efficiency. The ship was specially designed with railway tracks and compatible port facilities at both ends, allowing trains to drive on and off easily. Adjustable ramps accommodated tidal changes, and stationary steam engines were used to load and unload carriages. Roro ships also played a significant role in World War II, transporting tanks, amphibious vehicles, and other military equipment. In the late 1940s, merchant ships began adopting the Roro principle, which became popular on short-distance ferry crossings, as cars and other vehicles became more prevalent. Compared to other types of ships, Roro vessels offer several advantages, notably their speed and efficiency. Vehicles can drive directly onto the ship at one port and disembark within minutes of docking at another, saving time. Additionally, Roro ships integrate well with other transportation developments like containerization. The use of custom sealed units allows for minimal delays at border crossings. Moreover, row row ships have become popular among tourists and private car owners, significantly contributing to the growth of tourism. People can transport their cars from one country to another by sea using row row ships. Generally, most row row ships have 13 or more decks and are designed with a capacity of 4,000 to 5,000 car units. Some types can accommodate up to 8,000 vehicles. Usually, cargo ship and container transport capacities are measured in metric tons, but some companies measure row row ships in lane in meters, abbreviated as LIMS. Over time, more types of row row ships have become operational, including pure car carriers, abbreviated as PCC, and pure car truck carriers, abbreviated as PCTC. As the name suggest, PCCs transport cars, while PCTCs carry larger vehicles like trucks. Both have box-shaped frames with ramp arrangements for loading and unloading cargo. These ships consist of a quarter ramp at the stern, two ramps on both sides, enclosed internal ramps, and decks that can be hoisted to move cars to tiered decks. Vehicles drive directly onto the ship and through the internal ramp system to various decks. Another type of row-row ship is the roll-on, roll-off passenger ship, known as ROPAX. These vessels are designed for cargo vehicle transport, but also offer passenger accommodations typically for up to 500 passengers, and are often referred to as cruise ferries. ROPAX ships are used for short-distance sea transportation and comply with international standards for both passenger and row-row ships. They are relatively rare and generally operate in the North European seas. In addition, there are roll-on, lift-off vessels abbreviated as row lo This hybrid type has ramps serving vehicle decks, while other cargo decks are accessible only by cranes. row lo ships are designed to transport vehicles and general or heavy cargo. The weight of general cargo or heavy metal pieces may exceed the ramp load capacity, 
so the ship's cranes are used to load and unload cargo directly into the waiting area. Hybrid ships combining row-row and container ships are called conro ships. These vessels utilize the area below deck for vehicle storage while stacking containers on the deck. On some ships, the arrangement divides the ship into two parts. The lower deck on one side has guide cells for loading containers, and the deck on the other side is arranged for transporting cars or similar vehicles. The full cargo hold on the deck is used to carry containers. So, how do these row-row ships operate daily? Row-row ships have several identifying features that allow them to transport cargo safely, securely, and efficiently. Their decks are designed to be flat and open, equipped with ramps at the stern and bow, and must be strong enough to support the weight of numerous vehicles. The process of loading and unloading vehicles on row-row ships must be efficient and orderly to maintain operational safety, follow procedures, prevent cargo damage, and avoid wasting time. First, the row-row ship arrives at the port and docks at a predetermined terminal. The driver team is ready and waiting at the terminal with the cars or other vehicles to be loaded. If everything is ready, the car carrier ramp is lowered at one end of the ship and the driver team drives the vehicles onto the ship. This process takes time, and special workers provide directions to avoid collisions or other incidents. Once the vehicles are parked correctly, they are secured with tie-down straps to prevent movement during the voyage. After all vehicles are loaded, the ramp is raised, and the ship departs the port to begin its journey. Upon arrival at the destination port, the process is reversed. The ramp is lowered, tie-down straps are released, and the driver team prepares to remove the vehicles from the row-row ship. The vehicles are inspected for damage or impact, and if everything is fine, they are ready to be handed over to the client. The world's largest row-row ship currently is the MV Tonsberg, operated by Wilhelmsen Holding, a maritime company based in Norway. Built by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries in Japan, the ship has an overall length of 869 feet, a width of 105.8 feet, a draft of 36 feet, and an air draft of 151 feet. The MV Tonsberg has six fixed decks and three liftable decks, totaling 50,335 square meters of deck space and 138,000 cubic meters of cargo volume. The weather deck has a 4-meter wide ramp from below to reduce crane requirements, while the stern ramp is 12 meters wide and can accommodate a load of 505 tons. The MV Tonsberg uses 15 to 20 percent less fuel per cargo unit. To reduce the need for ballast water, the ship's stability has been improved with a double bottom, and Deck 5 is designed to be watertight. The ship is capable of sailing at a speed of 20.25 knots, or about 23 miles per hour.